Patsy Scott, excitedabouthealth.com. According to the research scientist with the Hallelujah Diet, Dr. Michael Donaldson, he says that if you follow a nutrient-rich, primarily raw, plant-based diet, the only non-negotiable key supplementation required is omega-3 fats, B12, and D3. I covered the omega-3 fats in health nugget number 21, and I covered B12 in health nugget number 12. So I wanted to be sure you also take a good D3 supplement combined with K2. And here is the reason. First of all, the best time for making D3 from sunshine is between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. during summer months, which is exactly when experts have told us to stay in the shade or use heavy-duty sunblock. These sun safety recommendations, in addition to an indoor lifestyle, have played a major role in vitamin D deficiency. So, daily supplementation is required, especially from October to May. Among vitamin D3's many benefits is that it helps the body absorb calcium, right? Now, the shocking news. Are we actually absorbing this calcium into our bones? In her book, Vitamin K2 and the Calcium Paradox, naturopathic Dr. Kate Rayum Bleu, she says this, in April of 2011, so very recent research, nutrition researchers shocked the medical community when they published in the prestigious Brit British medical journal, no less, that women who supplement with calcium to prevent osteoporosis at, are at a high risk of formation of calcium plaques in their arteries, heart attack and stroke than those who don't. The outcome was clear. The increased risk of death from heart disease associated with calcium supplements outweighed any benefit to bone health. This was not the first analysis to report this staggering finding. It was the third trial to confirm the trend. The implications were no, so staggering and baffling that the studies were largely swept under the rug. So don't be surprised if you haven't heard about this. While we have known for eons about the importance of vitamin D, and calcium in bone health, patients still have struggled with the osteoporosis, right? We finally have the last piece of the puzzle, vitamin K2's role in building bones truly makes it the unsung hero in maintaining bone health. K2's prime role in bone health is to activate certain proteins, allowing them to bind calcium. Only once they are activated by vitamin K2 can bones grab onto calcium and lay it into the bone matrix. Without sufficient vitamin K2 to activate it, calcium will not be deposited into the bone and osteoporosis sets in. So vitamin D helps the body absorb calcium and then K2 helps the body direct that calcium out of the blood into the bone. See how that works? That is why most of the bone building benefits of vitamin D are really dependent on K2. So I want you to be sure you are getting a good vitamin D3 supplement with K2. So they do sell it combined. The Hollow Yakers has one as well. So for a snack today, when you're speaking of calcium, you think of dairy. But because T. Colin Campbell says that the proteins in dairy, specifically casein, are like a fertilizer to cancer, obviously I avoid dairy like the plague, and I was so disappointed because I was missing my dairy alternatives like ice cream and cheese. Well, I was so excited when I learned how to make my dairy alternatives through plant-based lifestyle, and um, I'm going to show you cheese next week. But today, I mean, I've learned some really excellent ways to make some delicious ice creams from nuts. But I promised you quick and simple recipes. So today, we're just blending together frozen banana and frozen fruit. And look, you have a most magnificent, delicious ice cream. Enjoy.